Today we are going to go over the commonly asked question, should I get a hamster? I know I did a video very similar to this last August, but I do have a couple more important points to add. And also we do have quite a bit more subscribers with us. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So in order to figure out if a hamster is right for you, we need to go over 11 very important points. Number one, hamsters are nocturnal slash crepuscular, which means they will mainly be up at nighttime. Now if you just aren't a night person, or maybe you go to bed early, a hamster may not be for you. A hamster will come up occasionally during the day for a snack, but other than that, they are mainly awake at night. Number two, where will you put the cage? Hamsters need very large cages to thrive and forage and be able to run around. So a PetSmart Critter Trail cage will not work. The bare minimum of your hamster's cage should be nowhere under 680 square inches of floor space. I am currently saving up for a Night Angel hamster cage, which is my favorite hamster cage I have found so far. Other cage options such as a bin cage, a standard 50 gallon fish tank, and the Song Mike's pet playpen are great options. Number three, do you have the time for a hamster? A lot of people advertise hamsters as beginner pets, but in reality, they really do require the same amount of care as any other small pet. You will need to spot clean every other day and also feed and refill food and water dishes. If you guys don't know how to spot clean your hamster's cage, make sure to check out my newest video, which I leave in the end card above. Number four, owning a hamster does unfortunately cost a lot of money, so you will need to discuss who will be paying for your hamster's needs. So for example, I paid for my hamster and my sister Grace pays for her hamster. If you're a kid like me, you may want to take on a small job to help go towards the funds. Number five, if you are thinking of purchasing a hamster, you need to make sure the cage won't be accessible to any other younger kids. Hamsters again are not beginner pets, nor are they pets for four year olds. <laughs> Mainly for the reason that they might suddenly not want to take care of them anymore, but also because hamsters are relatively small animals which means they can be dropped very easily when being held. Number six, are you going to be willing to make contact with your hamster? When you first purchase your hamster, they will need to be left alone for three to four days and then led through the taming process. I know Victoria Rachel did a video on taming her Chinese hamster, so make sure to check that out sometime. After you are somewhat of the way through taming, a great method would be bathtub bonding. I do know of a lot of people who don't agree with this method just as it stresses their hamster out. Now if you do this when your hamster is awake at night and set toys and hides in the bathtub, this may help. Of course, if your hamster doesn't prefer this method, don't use it. <laughs> Number seven, hamsters do unfortunately have short lifespans. They normally live up to two years, sometimes longer. So if you're just a person who is looking for a pet with a longer lifespan, then I would suggest guinea pigs. Guinea pigs live up to eight years, and in some ways, they are very similar to hamsters. Number eight, you will need a healthy, balanced diet for your hamster with lots of nutrients. This includes a regular seed mix, sprays, a weekly salad, sunflower seeds, corn, herbs, and more. A lot of these you will probably have to find online, but I will put links in the description below of a couple of great websites. I personally scatter feed Ashley every third day, but bulk feeding is also another great option. Number nine, hamsters need a lot of bedding, which again will cost a lot of money. The bare minimum of bedding in your hamster's cage should be nowhere under six inches. As in the wild, hamsters would have burrows up to 30 inches deep. I would like to keep a little more in Ashley's cage, but for right now I have a good 14 inches. Good bedding choices such as Katie or Carefresh are excellent choices. Number 10, I thought I would also mention that buying a hamster as a surprise for someone is in general a very bad idea. A person, first of all, may not have the space you thought they had, or maybe they simply don't have the funds. Just thought I would add that in as an extra point. Number 11. And our last point, do you love hamsters? If you don't love your hamster, you should consider rehoming him or her to a good home where someone will love them. Hamsters are for sure one of my favorite animals in the world, and I love taking care of one. Today's video was definitely not trying to convince you guys to not get a hamster, but rather educate you so you know what you're getting into. Hamsters, again, are very enjoyable to own, and if you are able, then I would definitely consider getting one. So I hope you guys liked today's video, and maybe you even learned something new. Make sure to like the video, and also subscribe. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!